From the Mashamba West Mine, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo, we have, this is a fist size specimen, so it's a pretty good size. I, I thought of trimming out just this section, but to be honest with you, the, the, the whole specimen as it is, is rather appealing. And it, it almost, the, the, the matrix almost allows one to present what's sitting on top. Um, the, the cuprite crystal is over here. There's a, there's a few cuprites. I'll just start on this angle. The, 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 the blue background, the pale blue background would be some chrysocolor associated. Now the, the cuprites from the, uh, uh, Mashamba West mine in the Katanga copper, uh, copper mines of the Conga are very well known. We talk of the red cuprites and these would be the cuprites very well known from this particular deposit. So with very good lighting, one would most likely see uh, red through the edges or even through the uh, the whole crystal, depending on the intensity of light. But I'm talking strong light, maybe a jeweler's uh, uh, light or... I, I personally, I'm a little bit color challenged, so I don't see the redness, but often, uh, often I get people telling me, can you see the red? And I say, no, no, I don't see it. But uh, well, if you are good with colors, you would see it. All from the Mashamba West Mine, a almost fist size specimen. Lovely. Um, it displays beautifully. It's actually, look at that. It's actually really, really. Uh, I didn't trim it any further. I, I just like it. it, it it's almost a stand of that matrix with this, with this explosion of things happening here.